Hi, I'm Marianne. I'm with Omnia Audio. So we have a lot of improvements to the Omnia 11. Mr. Foti has been very hard at work for the last year, and Frank has a new clipper in the Omnia 11. It's called the Papino Clipper. It works on suppressing both harmonic distortion and IM distortion. The result is an even more clear, clean sound. And of course, come on, this is Frank's clipper, so it's as loud as you can imagine. The other thing we've worked on is improvements to the dynamic section. One of my favorite is we've worked on improvements to the fat bass section, and you'll find we have an even richer, stronger bass section. And now I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, Leif Clayson, and he's going to talk about what he's been working on with the Omnia 9. I'm Marianne Seidler with the Telos Alliance. Thanks, Marianne. Hi, I'm Leif Plaisen here at the IBC 2018 in Amsterdam. Uh, and uh, I'd like to show you some of the new features in the Omnia 9. One of the biggest new features is the new clipper, uh, this one by Hans van Zutphen. It's actually even better than what was in the Omnia 9 previously, giving you improved audio quality and clarity with a little bit less distortion at the same loudness level, even as compared to Omnia 9 before, which as you know was, uh, was quite remarkable in itself. Uh, there are of course some new clipper options um, based in the modulation protection uh, which intelligently protects S sounds and other treble, uh, treble sounds from deep bass only when necessary and without losing any bass. Um, separate, uh, some separate options for the highs, but other than that, um, it's entirely preset compatible with um, with previous units. So you just load the new update and it just works. You don't have to. You don't actually have to make any adjustments. Another new feature is seamless preset switching between very loud and very quiet presets with um, n with no dropout or or jarring transition. You can actually see on the oscilloscope here. If I now go to a much quieter preset. You can see how nothing really changed except it got a little bit quieter. So it literally crossfades between the presets. Um, another new thing is uh, a new, brand new streaming encoder. And this time, we, uh, besides having an internal server type, so you can just stream uh, directly from the Omnia 9 to up to nine clients, so it's usable in-house, like to stream to that little um, table radio in the lobby, for example. Um, we also now support, uh, well, Icecast 2, obviously, but also now Shoutcast 2. Um, and you can uh, use those with, uh, with any, uh, any encoder type. We now also support the FLAC lossless audio codec, which we did not before, so that's a, a major improvement. Omnia 9 Mark II here is actually a new hardware revision, uh, and it allows us to do Kantar watermarking for our French customers, as well as, finally, Livewire natively in the Omnia 9, including composite MPX over Livewire, both through the input and output. And it is fully AES67 compliant, where where the Livewire MPX output of the Omnia 9 can be received by any AS67 compliant gear that can handle a 192 kilohertz stream. Existing Omnia 9 units can be upgraded to the Mark II hardware spec. So yeah, talk to your dealer and, uh, and we can get that sorted for you.